G'day, it's Robbie again. Uh, today we're going to look at how you can reduce the thickness of small items like, say, a woodruff key. You want to get a woodruff key that's uh, the right width. I mean, uh, I keep all my old woodruff keys, I've got stacks of them, and uh, quite often you have to get one uh, reduced to make it fit. Uh, it might be too wide, or you have to make up your own woodruff key, which you can do. Um, it's not that difficult. They come in all shapes and sizes. Well, maybe you want to make a shim. I um, mean, I've got lots of shims here too. So, you know, if you're working on a motor, particularly, and you want to shim up something, um, or maybe you're just putting something together and you want a thinner washer, how can you reduce the thickness of a washer and, uh, and hold it in the lathe? I mean, that's the critical thing. How do you actually hold something like that, uh, or that, or that? or you know or even that how do you hold that in the lathe and machine it back um, to the thickness you want it sounds tricky but it's not really that difficult and uh, I'll show you how you do it so how do we get how are we going to do this well basically you need two things you need a tube of super glue and you need piece of round stock which is a similar diameter to whatever you're going to be working on. Uh, in this example I'm going to uh, reduce the thickness of this washer and the idea of it is uh, you, your round stock is uh, machined off, faced off uh, perfectly on each end. Don't make it too long because you want to be able to measure um, the, the job uh, that you're working on with your uh, with the dial calipers and we're going to use super glue to glue the washer onto the end of the round stock being a very very thin glue it won't really have a significant impact on um, the thickness of the, of the job and once the, uh, the super glue is hardened we're going to then mount the round stock in the jaws of the vise and we're going to then machine back the, uh, or face off, the uh, the washer in this case to the correct thickness. Now if it was, uh, um, if it was a, a, a woodruff key on there, and you can actually make a woodruff key using this method by doing a round stock and then slicing it and then uh, grinding your, uh, your woodruff key back. But if it was a woodruff key, you'd, you'd be grinding that back for sure. You can't uh, machine a woodruff key I mean this glue is strong but it's not strong enough that you could use carbide on it, uh, it would tear it off. So you would have to use uh, a, a little tool post grinder or even air dye grinder uh, if you haven't got a tool post grinder and put a bit of water on it occasionally, keep it cool and uh, you would grind that back. In this case we're going to use, um, I'm not going to stuff up one of my good woodruff keys for this but I'll just use a washer and we'll reduce this washer back and uh, and I'll do it with my little air dye grinder just to show you how good these little air dye grinders are and how accurate they can get stuff. Um, but you would actually be able to face that off with a uh, a high speed steel, a fine, a small high speed steel um, cutter if you took it very gently. Uh, the super glue would be good enough to hold it um, for that exercise. But ideally, use a little air dye grinder. So we'll move on and I'll, uh, I'll get it set up. Right, well here we are, we've glued the washer onto the round stock with the super glue. Uh, as you can see I've got some acetone here. You need that to, uh, to clean up the washer after you release it. And uh, it's also handy so make sure you don't glue yourself to, uh, to your job. Uh, it's embarrassing, you know, sitting in the doctor's queue with a piece of metal stuck to your finger so that's the time uh, to get the washer off you're just going to heat up the round stock afterwards with a um, blowtorch or put it over the gas stove or something and it will just drop off and then you acetone just to finish her off and you're good to go so um, I'll put this in the uh, in the lathe uh, chuck and we'll uh, we'll face it back Right, we're all set to go. We've got the uh, the round stock in the uh, the chuck. Got the little air die grinder in the uh, tool post. 
Um, the clothes to the job, to the washer. The lathe's going to be spinning backwards in reverse. Got the carriage locked. So the carriage is all locked down and we're just going to advance the, uh, the little grinding wheel with the, uh, the top slide. So we'll fire her up and uh, away we go. Stop the lathe every so often, check the temperature. Uh, being such a small grindstone, I don't think, don't think it's going to get hot enough to uh, cause any problem. And uh, in this case, okay, so we'll start it up again and we'll do some more. <laughs> Okay, let's have a look at our nicely ground back um, washer. Didn't take too long. It's, I mean, it's nowhere near as fast as a full size tool post grinder, but it did it pretty quickly. So we'll put the old calipers on. 33.95. I want to go to 34 exactly, so I'm 0 0.05 out. Oh well, too bad. Near enough. Near enough is good enough in this case, so just for the demonstration you can see uh, it did that no problem whatsoever. So now we'll just put a bit of heat on that and I'll uh, to take it off and then we'll clean it up and I'll show you what we got. Okay, well, here's the finished article, and uh, a little bit of heat bluing from where I released it from the uh, the stock, but on the other side I've wire buffed it on the wire buff, and it's come up perfectly. It's only surface bluing, so that's nothing. So uh, you can see how thin it is. Uh, a beautiful little shim, the little air die grinder did it easily, and it did it, you know, not bad, pretty quick considering. Um, it gets it off pretty well. Of course, the bigger the item, the longer it's going to take. You can't expect it to be as anywhere near as quick as a proper tool post grinder. Uh, I mean, I've got a full-sized wall-down tool post grinder that I would normally use for a job like this, but I thought, well, I'll just demonstrate how well it works, and it works great. So, I mean, that's just uh, washer material, you know, medium carbon steel, but you can, as you can imagine, you could reduce a, uh, a woodruff key with it, no problem at all, being a grindstone, and... Uh, I didn't have to cool it down, the heat didn't, uh, it didn't get hot enough to worry it, so uh, going slow has that advantage. And if you're looking at my uh, bench top, you can see, once again, the old toilet paper. Handy to uh, wash off stuff with a bit of acetone, so that was my good tip a little while back. And uh, so there you go, folks. Easy way to reduce stuff. Uh, all you need is a little air die grinder, like I've got, mount it in your tool post. Piece of cake, cost you 30 bucks set up and you're good to go um, you could do this with high-speed steel but you have to go very very gently and there's no way you could do a 
a woodruff key or anything like that you, without a little grinder. So yeah, get yourself on those little air die grinders. They're the greatest thing since sliced bread, and uh, you can do jobs like that. Okay, see you next time.